In this video, let's see how to trigger the effect on a button click. Typically, what we would do is create a button and add a click handler. Within the click handler, we make the get request. Now that is fine, but we want to understand how to do the same with the effect hook. Let's begin. The first thing you want is a state variable whose value will change only based on the button click. The only value we see changing here is the post ID. So let's create a new state variable. Const ID from button click, set ID from button click with a default value of one. Next, let's add a button right after the input element. Button type is equal to button and the text is fetch post. On click of this button, we want to set the ID from button click variable to the value present in the input field. And that value is the ID variable, which is updated on change. So on click, let's call handle click which is going to be a function const handle click is equal to an arrow function where we call set ID from button click passing in the current ID value which is the text input field value. The final step is to let the effect know it is now dependent on the ID from button click value instead of the regular ID from on change. So ID from button click, ID from button click. And that is pretty much it. Let's head back to the browser and test this out. On page load, we see the first post title being displayed. I change value to two, we don't see the title change. I click on the button and the title changes. Change to three, click on the button, and we have the third post title. So we are now fetching data on button click rather than the on change event. So that is how you fetch data with use effect. With that, we come to the end of our set of examples on the effect hook. It might seem a bit difficult to grasp at first, so go through the videos a couple of times and you will find a much better understanding of the effect hook. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.